Yo, yo, guys, RDS here back again um, with some more news coming out of Manchester United, reacting to it. Um, and it's Sancho. Sancho is back. Sancho is back. Jaden Sancho returns. But before we get into it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter. We unite at Xbox on Twitch and Instagram and TikTok at Red Devil Studio. So make sure you check it out. Anyway, let's get into news. So, as has going to be said today, uh, and by covered by a lot of media outlets, obviously Brizio posted it as well. And it's official on the Manchester United homepage. Jaden Sancho has had a positive face to face meetings with Eric Ten Hag this week, and they've clarified the situation. Both Ten Hag and Sancho agreed to draw a line in disagreement and move on. Jaden available for preseason games. He's now back in training. It's very, very interesting. Um, obviously, I think you know there was a lot of interest as in what is going to happen. Um, you know, you know, Jaden Sancho saying we'll go to Dortmund. At the end of the day, I think simply what happened is this, and I said this from the start was that Sancho probably wants to leave, but at the end of the day, Dortmund couldn't afford him because they couldn't afford the price tag. United probably wants at least 45 million for him. And then who's going to pay his wages? You know, the re the reality is, and this happened with as happened with so many players on high wages, Pogba, Neymar, Sancho, you know, etc., is that it is highly unlikely in this day and age that teams are willing to spend high amounts of money on transfer fees to then spend on high wages if they know they can the player can run down the contract and get a player for free or they can get alternatives cheaper younger and better you know that's the reality because you're taking i don't think teams now are really willing to take the risk anymore you know i mean you just look at real madrid with the euro deal they're like yeah it's fine we don't have we're, we're not going to be bullied into paying it extra if you want want us, just wait and we'll come and get you for free and then pay your wages that way. Um, so I think in this situation, that probably happened obviously with Sancho. And obviously, you know, he's staying in Manchester United. I think they both just came to agreement and were like, listen, let's just put it behind us and let's just move on. Regardless of what happens, I mean, I think this is good for United. Hopefully, hopefully they can just um, you now understand each other and we can go forward because, you know, as, I, as I've said several times, that right hand side is there for Sancho. You know, Anthony seems to really not be kind of really be hit and miss. Um, Sancho can play on the left and the right. So it's really going to add, uh, it's, it's going to add a lot, you know. And to be honest, you've got to be thinking about Rashford here because Sancho can play on the left, he can play on the right. Um, if he then comes in, you know, so now you've got Xerxes and suddenly that front six looking mighty competitive. You've got to feel for players like Ahmad. How does he get into the team now? Maybe he gets a loan. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a good on form Sancho who can have a pass of the ball can be can do great things. He just needs to improve and let's see what happens. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts on Jaded Sancho coming back. Are you happy? Like, share, and subscribe to Rodeo Studio. Follow us on Twitter at UNSX. Comment below. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers. Peace.